to talk to you guys a little bit about um, Micron bags and, and what I use them for and, and how I use them now. I don't claim to know everything, I just try to share what I do know with, with the viewers and the people out there and our customers. So, um, our particular bags, they come in uh, several different Micron sizes, four to be exact. And I wanted to show you guys, there's this chart that we did. Now, this is blown up, these circles are blown up to be one eighth inch. So in actuality, um, they're the tip of this, of our dab tool is what these circles actually are. So you can really see to scale what the difference in micron is. When you look at a 160 micron, that's, you know, the opening of the screen is really wide open on those. And then the 120s get smaller, the 90s even get smaller, and then you can see the 37s in comparison. So once again, that is the exact size, the diameter of our dab tools. That's the scale this, this is done. Now, <clears throat> what I use 160 micron for is if I have real fresh flour. So if the flour is um, just cured and it's um, super fresh, it's uh, uh, 68 to 74% humidity, um, sticky, it's not falling apart, it's not flaking, it's trimmed nice, that will go into 160. You're gonna get the highest yield out of it, the highest percent yield out of it, but the difference between the 160 and even the 37 isn't even a percentage of yield difference. So um, I don't like to waste, I like to get it all out when, when I'm doing it. You like to get it all out the first time, that's how you have the highest quality um, concentrates. So as the material dries out and it gets below 68%, um, 68 to 64%, I go ahead and put it in the uh, 120 micron. And then as it dries out a little further, I would do 90. And then what I use typically 37s for are isolations, so THCA isolation, so um, uh, mechanical fractioning. Or um, I also use them to extract keef and, uh, and sift um, from our sifter and, and when, when I'm doing that sort of stuff. So I'll use 37 microns. Sometimes I'll even double bag a 37 micron with some, some concentrates. So that's the difference in the filter, the filtering of the bags. Now, the number one use for our bags are, um, or what I use them for, is to hold a specific surface area. That's why they come in these different sizes, the three and a half gram bags, and then the seven gram bags, uh, and then the 14 gram bags. And now we have a new bag that, that uh, we'll be in with, with our Nug Smasher X. It'll do uh, anywhere between three and 14 grams in one extraction. So that's our new little X that uh, people were kind of intimidated by this whole process. So it makes it uh, much easier to get a consistent, good extraction out of it. But the number one uh, reason or purpose for the bags, the extraction bags, are to hold the actual surface area. Um, and that's, that's the key. Now, when you're uh, putting material in this way and you're folding it over and you're putting it between the plates, the difference in density of material can change your surface area astronomically. So when you pack bottle textile and you invert the corners of the bag, what that does is it allows you to change uh, on a 14 gram bag or something of that nature, you could put eight grams all the way up to a lot of times 16 grams in the bag and then get the same exact extraction uh, percentage wise back by the same exact surface area. So that's why we do it that way. And, and uh, when you lay them down like this, you can't, uh, you can't do that that way. And you don't, there's no way to really tell what the end uh, surface area will be. Hey guys, make sure you check us out at NugSmasher.com. All of our uh, products are listed there with all the product information and accessories, um, as well as the uh, tools tab. Check that out. There's um, charts, charts and calcs are there if you're an XP or a pro owner, as well as uh, all of the turp file information. Um, and you can log your own turp file there. Check us out there at NugSmasher.com.